Hello, welcome. This is my first sim related video. I have been so excited to post this. I am renovating the Rindle Rose, a small home located in Willow Creek. I decided I would preserve the structure of the home and just give it a little makeover. I always start by deleting pretty much everything that it came with, giving us a perfect canvas to work with. The patio furniture was cute, so I went ahead and just neutralized it and kept it where it was. But everything else had to go. I always try to decide which rooms are going to be which and then go ahead and decorate them one by one as much as possible. But we know sometimes we cross cute stuff and just need to place it. My decorating style has a lot of neutrals, plants and cute clutter. I wanted this space to feel as big as possible since it's actually so small and must serve as an entrance, living room, kitchen and dining. The very sweet little couch doubles as a shelf that I actually feel acts as a perfect divider for the living and kitchen space. First bedroom I'm working on is meant to be for a parent or a guardian. I wanted to give it a really warm, luxurious feel with not too much clutter around. I wanted it to feel very bright and very white with golden accents. I think these little outlets are one of my favorite items. I love the detail it brings to each space and making it feel so realistic. The bathroom is really basic, functionality focused and very neutral. Not much going on there. The last room of this house is meant for twins. I don't often put more than one sim in a room, but I really wanted these sims to be besties and enjoy growing up together. And as much as I love a big detailed home, a small one is so cozy and brings the sims so much closer together. I want these twins to have their own kind of unique areas, so I focused on adding fun clutter to really create two different bedroom styles in one. Also, please don't mind me using CC that isn't always meant for where I put it. I just pretend it's totally fab and perfect and use my imagination and move forward with it. I love that they have the same carpet in two different swatches. Super cute. In this living area, I wanted to add just a bit of simple furniture and clutter. And for the dining area as well. These croissants are too cute. I finished the interior with a few details. I make my way back out to finally add my last touches on the exterior. Hold on to your seats for this final tour in tab mode. Yes, I tried my best, and yes, I hope to get better at it. I highlight my three favorite nooks from this reno. Which one was yours? Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it, and please subscribe to stay posted with more. <laughs>